experience 24-7 Stephon Devereaux, Stephon Devereaux Show, Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. I want to thank you for joining me, and I'm trying to be nice today. I swear I'm trying to be nice today, but, you know, some people piss me off. And I don't know who pisses me off more, Pittsburgh Steelers fans or wrestling fans. Because they live in this fantasy world that I guess I'm not allowed to live in. And I don't want to be a part of this fantasy world. I don't want to live in it. I understand reality. Case in point, Mike Munchak, former Stiller offensive line coach who was up for head coaching jobs around the league. He turned down an opportunity to be uh, to be interviewed out in Arizona or a second interview. He wanted that Denver Broncos job. He didn't get it. So Denver offered him more money to become their offensive line coach. More money than the Steelers were offering for him to stay the offensive line coach. Mike Munchak left. He said, you know, family and money. Was it driving factors that he left the Pittsburgh Steelers to join the Denver Broncos? I can't fault the man. But no, we got some butthead Steeler fans who are out here saying, Ooh, Mike Dumlin. He's so big, he's not the best offensive line coach ever. I mean, really, people? Really? Because a man wants to take more money, now it's Mike Tomlin's fault. Really? Do you know how stupid you sound sometimes? This is why the Pittsburgh Steelers fan base is becoming worse than the Dallas Cowboy fan base. I never thought I would be saying that. Because you people just think that you're supposed to win a championship every year. Oh, you don't think, oh, you're not allowed to have better people inside of your division. Better teams inside of your division. You're not allowed to have an off year every now and then. You're in the playoffs every year practically. So you miss a year now, everything. I mean, seriously. Then y'all want everybody fair. When I just keep telling y'all, y'all don't got to fire nobody. Y'all might have to get rid of somebody. He might have to be cut. He can't be fired. Mike Tomlin's not your problem. Your problem is the guy who got all the power on the team. The $100 million quarterback. But obviously, I'm going to give the Rooney's credit because obviously, they're not taking Ben Roethlisberger, his word, and his opinion to heart this year. Unlike last year when they got rid of one of the best offensive coordinators this team has ever had. And Todd Haley. Don't believe me? Check the numbers. Ben got rid of him. Now it's Ben's offense. They don't even run the ball no more in Ben's offense. You don't think Mike Munchak didn't notice that either? Now I'll say this. Ben Roethlisberger is a great quarterback. I keep saying that. But he's not a great leader. I'm not going to put all the blame on Big Ben. I can't do that. But see, I don't live in a fantasy land world that you other that you still are fanatics live in. I don't live in that world. That's why I can step back and look at the whole NFL and say, okay, I see the problems with the Pittsburgh Steelers, just like I can see the other the problems with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Just like I can see the problems with the Dallas Cowboys. I watch football. I watch the NFL. I don't just watch the Pittsburgh Steelers like you homers do. You'll notice that your team doesn't want to run the ball when it's needed to. Like other teams. You see the teams that are left in the playoffs? You know what they did? The four teams that are left in the playoffs. Do do you know what they did well in the playoffs? They was able to run the ball. Do you believe that the Steelers would have been able to run the ball if they got into the playoffs? No. I put that 
Yeah, I'll put some of that at Mike Tomlin's feet because he's the head coach. But I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to put at his feet that a guy wants to leave the city of Pittsburgh and coach for another team because he's getting paid more money. That's what this business is all about, getting paid and winning. Sometimes it's more about getting paid. Antonio Brown wants out of Pittsburgh. It's not even about money for for him anymore. It's not about winning anymore. It's about respect. And I I get that. So he might be one of the only people that, that don't value winning over money or money over winning. He wants respect. Maybe Mike Munchak wants respect over in Denver. Maybe he's going to get that respect now that he feels he deserves. Maybe his voice wasn't heard. You know what? I could go through all the conspiracy theories, but the bottom line is, guess what? He wanted paid. And he got paid more money. That's the bottom line. That is the bottom line. He wanted paid. Man. Sometimes I just, I just don't get it. Now, before I get out of here, I know. I just had to come on here and rant real quick about this Mike Munchak situation. Before I get out of here, I want to address what James Harrison said earlier on Undisputed. I want to address that. And I want to address what Shannon tried to say but didn't Shannon said it because James couldn't say it. Let's just say that. Let's just get to the bottom. James couldn't say it, so Shannon said it. James couldn't say that other people on that team was getting special treatment over others. And we all know who that person is. We all know that person's Ben Roethlisberger. We all know that Antonio Brown wanted that that respect from this team. The same respect that Ben gets. We all know that. If you're paying attention and listening to, you know, my podcast, of course. My tweets and so forth. Facebook posts that I put out there on the Angry Kids 24-7 Radio Network. Facebook page. Check it out. But we all know. Antonio Brown wants respect. But what got, there was a piece, there was something in there that he said. There was something in there that he said that made me, whoa, hold on. Because it goes along the lines of what I've been trying to tell you people for a long time. The team and the media puts out what they want to put out. They tell you what they want you to know. When he said that last year, when Le'Veon Bell missed that walkthrough before the Jacksonville playoff game. Now, mind you, James Harrison wasn't even on the team then. He was getting ready to play a game for New England. But you remember the big thing about Le'Veon Bell missing that walkthrough? He also said another player missed that walkthrough. But they wanted you to know that it was Le'Veon Bell who missed that walkthrough. Man, it's no different than they want you to believe that Antonio Brown is, he's Kareem Hunt now. They want you to believe that, which is the dumbest thing because all they're doing is they're lowering and lowering and lowering his stock. So if he wants to get out of here, if they want him out of here, they're not going to get no more than a fourth round pick. Yeah, I said it. A fourth round pick. So, I just want people to remember as they're sitting out here bashing this man's name, as they're sitting out there bashing Le'Veon Bell, remember. It's the other sides of the story, people. They want you to know what they want you to know. They tell you what they want you to know.
damn shame. Damn shame. Y'all bite it up. Marks, Stefan Devereaux Show, Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. I'm out.